In our news bulletin for this evening, New Zealand police provide training to improve new police prosecution skills. Government has approved assistance for the development of the elderly folks' home at the hospital. New athletics team returned victorious with seven medals in tow. Women's Kalikiki season is almost done with one more lot of games before the finals. New police are receiving training to enhance their prosecution skills and processes as part of ongoing support from New Zealand Police. In light of the multiple roles that the new police perform, the required specialised skill sets to undertake each responsibility. The Chief of Police, Tony Edwards, says that the department currently has one officer skilled in the area of prosecution and that officer is nearing retirement, therefore it poses the need to upskill and train more staff to take on board this role. We spoke with the New Zealand Police Prosecutor Trainer about the value of improving the skills of officers to prosecute cases. A prosecutor has, can only do as good a job as the um, file that he has in front of him. Um, so if he has a successful prosecution, uh, not only is it due to his good skills, but also the good investigation work uh, by the officers uh, on the street. So we are looking at assisting the officers who investigate any incidents to provide them with um, some resources and some training so that they know what questions to ask um, and how to investigate uh, incidents better so that they can gain all their required evidence to take a matter to court. The more experience a person has, the, the better job that they can provide. All we can do uh, really is uh, offer as much assistance as we can in training. Um, some people uh, make very good prosecutors, uh, some don't. And it's not just in Niue, it's in any country, even in New Zealand. We have only uh, about 210 prosecutors throughout the whole country. And uh, out of a police um, total number of around 10,000, um, not everyone is suited to being a prosecutor. So it's a very unique position, uh, one that requires some certain skills. And uh, we're hopefully going to be able to identify uh, some people who can uh, take over the role. Whilst on the island, New Zealand police representatives have also spoken to various stakeholders in the community to identify areas that they can assist and make an assessment of what additional training may be required and also to determine whether extra resources should be provided in future. The newer government has approved a 30% contribution for a project to develop the elderly folks section at the new F4 hospital. The proposed extension of the aged care facility at the hospital was a concept and initiative developed by a New Zealand student, Matt Wilson, to provide an area for the leisure activities of new elderly residents. The, funds, the rest of the funds have been raised privately by Matt and his team through raffle sales, grants, labour and sponsorship that's valued at about $100,000. The new addition at the hospital will include an area for the elderly folk to relax, entertain and host activities and a container structure that has also been fitted with kitchen and restrooms. Matt will be arriving with his team of about 11 people this Friday to start assembling the facility and the project will be completed and handed over to government on the 11th of July. Newer's team to the Oceania Area Junior and Senior Championships in the Cook Islands have returned today with a total of seven medals. Months of training have definitely paid off for the five athletes and the manager who left the island a week prior to competition, spending time training in New Zealand to familiarise themselves with international standard tracks and facilities before heading for competition in Rarotonga. It seems that this made all the difference and has delivered results. The first two medals on day one went to the junior men's javelin, a gold to Ipa Miskea, silver to William Pasisi. The second day raked in a silver for Jinan Hoptoa in shot put and then a joint team effort in the junior men's 4x100 relay, placing second, adding four more medals. Friends and family were at the airport today to welcome the team who are in awe of their achievements despite being new to regional and international competition. We caught up with the team today at the airport to see how they're feeling. I feel amazing at the moment, yeah, besides the flu, but um, yeah, it's really, it's been an awesome experience for all of us, especially this, um, these guys, uh, the newcomers, uh, Kikipa and Renuka and William, whose first time being exposed to international competition. It's been really awesome for them as well. To be honest with you, we couldn't sleep... Um, 
we're up until 12 o'clock. We're just talking about it and sorting out some paperwork. And then uh, one of the guys woke up, literally woke up out of bed and say, we came there, sit, sit by the table with us. And then um, they say, what's wrong? I said, oh, I can't sleep. We're still, still buzzed by what, what, <laughs> what we got. So it's, it's really awesome. Yeah. It's, everyone was energized and um, the feeling was just amazing. As one of the more experienced athletes in the team, we asked Janam about the team morale during competition and outlook for the future. In the competition area, it's and in the actual time of competition, it's really um, a lot of pressure, and uh, we all felt that. But um, besides all that, we also have uh, that drive from the new people over here. Every all of our supporters, everybody has been supporting us, especially God, um, also all our relatives and friends, sponsors, and everything. So that all comes in, into mind, and it eases out that pressure when it comes to competition. But in terms of uh, future preparations, we're going to continue on with our training, and uh, those of us going to Glasgow. We're going to be full on training from this week, next week, until the, the trip. Uh, but we, we encourage a lot of young ones, and whoever, any, anybody wants to come up and train with us, do come, come by and feel free to come and join us. It's, it's going to be awesome. Congratulations to the team and the New Athletics Association on a successful competition. And the encouragement is there for more young people to consider taking up athletics for opportunities to represent New in future. The women's Kilikuki season hasn't been on for long, but Pool A team's games came to an end last Saturday. There was much confusion in the beginning regarding the women's Kilikuki season, but in the end, only nine villages managed to field teams in Pool A, Alofi, Vaya, Hakupu and Makefu, whilst in Pool B, there were five teams, Avasele, Mutalo, Viku, Lakepa and Suapa. This year, Hikutoi and Tamgotonga opted to stay out of the competition. There are only Pool B teams left to thrash it out this Saturday. They are Tuapa, Lakapa, Utalo and Liku. As for Pool A, it seems that Alofi are out on top as the champions from the previous competition. And if all goes according to plan, it could be Avaseli who face them for the championship once again. All the best to those teams who will be playing this coming Saturday.